All right, welcome to a brand new one wherein we're going to learn about how to build a Docker image and push it to a Docker Hub. Now, this is going to be a public Docker Hub, uh, we, and we'll we're going to learn how you could write a Docker file for MK Docs. MK Docs is an application which is uh, which is there to write your software development lifecycle documentation. Uh, so we're going to pick up that image and we're going to build it, deploy it locally, and then ultimately we're going to push the image to the Docker Hub so that it can be pulled by anybody in the world. It's public and they can start deploying it as a container on it could be Kubernetes cluster, could be ECS, could be Azure Kubernetes, uh, could be any other serverless uh, system as well. Why this is important, this is the first part of the GitLab uh, uh, session wherein I'm going to teach you how to build the Docker image. That's important because if you don't build the application, how and what would you deploy? In the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to use this image and deploy it somewhere. So this is a series of videos wherein we're going to learn what GitLab is. How do you do CI, CD and a lot of other goodness into GitLab. So this is one of the small snippets from my full four hour course of GitLab. If you wish to learn GitLab in a way that how you could implement that in a real world infrastructure, a real world company, you should really go ahead and watch uh, uh, the course or take up the course. All right. I hope this was informative. I'll see you in the demo in a few seconds wherein I'm going to I'm gonna I'm, I'm building the image and I'm deploying it and pushing it to docker up I'll see you in the demo thank you all right we are back uh, in the last session what did we do we created the structure right structure of our application which we're gonna eventually want to build on uh, GitLab or some sort of CI CD tool it doesn't matter it's GitLab the course is about GitLab but if you understand the entire workflow you could build it on GitLab github uh, harness code giant uh, circle CI any any, any CICD platform. So how does our application looks like? We haven't touched base on GitLab yet. It's all about our application. Uh, we've got our docs uh, folder where we have got the markdown uh, uh, files. Uh, .md is the extension for markdown. We've got our Docker file with, where we have defined what do we want to do um, and all the structure, all the steps of our Docker file. Uh, then we've got the MK docs uh, YAML, which is the main entry point for your application. What next? You want to build this application now. Okay, so I don't have any images. Um, if you do a Docker images, you don't have any images. What I'm going to do is I am going to do a Docker build. What is the command? So it's going to be docker build uh, hyphen hyphen no cache hyphen T for interactive. And then the name of your uh, name of your uh, 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 image, you could give it any image name. I've given my mk docs site and then where is your docker file your docker file is in the root directory right that's why we have used the dot command all right now i'm gonna hit enter what i'm gonna what it's gonna do is gonna start building the image as you can see the first one it is doing is this tells the docker if you go to the docker file this tells the docker to use the image some sort of image or operating system it's going to download that particular image that's where the uh, most time taking consuming time is then we've got the uh, pip install command to install a bunch of commands or utility on top of this image this image is plain vanilla image it doesn't have anything so it's installing all these commands and then it uh, copies the working directory. this tells that where the working directory, uh, what's going to be the working directory inside the containers going to look like. Think of it as the um, main folder where, where project file will reside. And then we're going to copy this local MK docs YAML to the container docs uh, folder. And then we're going to expose the, this will tell Docker that that will make something available on this particular port. And something is MK docs in our case. And then uh, the command uh, cmd uh, which is which tells the docker to what command to run when the container starts uh, in our case is starting the mk docs so it's mk docs and then it's tell to serve the uh, mk docs into this particular um, url which is localhost 0.0. .0. and the port which we have mentioned over here and as you can see that it is installing all the mk docs uh, uh, plugin and everything and then it's installing the revised version as well once this is uh, done what we're going to do is the build is done the image is going to be with us what do we do with that image we we can't do anything with that image until we can kind of uh, 
run the image as a container. So first thing first, once you've got the image, the second thing is you got to have running it as a container. In this case, in this particular video or session, we're going to run that image as a container on our computer, on the local host. So whether you are using Windows, Ubuntu, Linux or Mac OS, which is my case, uh, you could run those images as a container on your local host. Once we're going to take a step further, we're going to run it as a container in some, some sort of uh, containerization platform could be Kubernetes, could be ECS, could be anything. You could pick and choose anything. It doesn't matter. The fundamental has to be uh, there. So now as you can see that it is uh, uh, doing all the steps one by one. The first, uh, it, it's under the ninth of 10 steps. So the first step was uh, getting the image and then second step was to install uh, the command and then working directory, then copying the docs and then exporting the image as well. Now that image is there, if I do a docker image, you would see that image is there, right? Okay, I say docker images that should have our images. This is the name which we gave, right? What was our Docker command? This was our Docker build command, right? We gave this name and it was built 30 seconds ago. The size is quite huge, 1.1 GB. Now what? We are gonna run this. What's gonna the command is gonna be Docker run. Which port? It's gonna run on 8000 port. And what is the name of the image? Image name is my MK doc site, which is this one. If you like, do a typo and give a wrong name, it's gonna say no image was found. Okay, it, it couldn't find any image. So, it, and it cannot run it. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just, we're just gonna make sure that we are passing the right image name, which is my MK doc site. You could be your name as well when you're building it. Okay, I'm gonna run it and it's gonna start the container, start the application MK docs on the local host which is 0.0 .0. as you can see it started to serve on 0.0, .0 as we have defined over here i'm going to click on this one and it's going to take me to the mk docs uh, ui and bingo here you got your first mk docs project set up as you can see uh, these are all the navigation which we have got welcome to the project and then we've got feature uh, all right and then um, where this is coming from? This is coming from your YAML, right? Remember, you've defined the YAML. So you've got your YAML over here. Where these, all these information coming from? These are all coming from your project, all right? Now you can just change it and uh, uh, build something else as well. So this is how easy it was to build an docs. Now you can just start changing as well. Uh, installation and probably, okay, bash command and then pip install okay this is how it looks like we're making some changes and i'm just gonna make it visually how you kind of work you would actually work in an actual project okay so this is how it should look like now this from this it should now look like this how do we do that what we're gonna do is i'm gonna just stop this container i'm gonna build it again all right so docker build I don't want to use no cache because it's going to again start from scratch of using uh, pulling the image as well. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to build it. All right. Build with the latest changes. And then once, as you can see, this time it will be faster because uh, it's using the cache and just changing the working directory and the content inside that directory. So what I'm going to do is now run docker run. All right. And this should start the container again. And I could access the uh, access my application on localhost again. All right, now you can see, I'm gonna, gonna close the previous one. You can see that whatever steps which, uh, the new content which we have defined in our indexed directory, it is now coming up over here. Installation, pip install and usage is Python. That's what we defined over here. And this easy uh, it was. Uh, remember we, we spoke about Docker file wherein we mentioned that, okay, uh, this is the working directory. How do you verify that? You can get inside your Docker container as well. How do you do that? Uh, Docker, you use Docker exec command, all right, and then interactive, run it in an interactive session. And what is the name of your container? Your container name is, if you do a Docker PS, it will give you all the containers. So this is the container uh, ID, this is the command, this is the image name. So you could simply use the 
container as exec hyphen it all right and then hyphen what was the name we're gonna just copy the name from here I'm gonna paste it over here and then run it inside the bin bash okay no container because we use the wrong container name so I'm gonna come back over here pick up the container ID paste in the container ID and then we are inside the container now all right so now you can if you do an LS uh, this is the container ID and if you see that docker file docs everything is copied from your local inside that container all right and if you go to the container you'll see that index.html is populated over here just like we have defined on our local system so this is how easy it was to see um, uh, uh, how do you get it inside your container uh, just not running it and we kind of uh, showed that how you could just quickly min, uh, make your changes on your index.html build it again and push it uh, and run it as a container again all right this was it I hope this was informative this was about building the container locally um, once you're done with your work and you just want to clear everything you can simply run docker rm so you could just stop the containers once you're done control c All right now you could just do a docker rm uh, rmi which is like remove and then force all the docker images so now you could just remove all the images now you would see that our container has also stopped there is no container no images at all no container as well docker ps and there's no container as well all right i hope this was informative in the next one we gonna push this image into a docker hub and then take things forward from there i hope this was informative i'll see you in a bit thank you